morning guys so today we're milking black mambas and you can see and jerry's got one nicely giving us a bit of venom so we'll send you some more videos we'll do some more videos to show you the process That's why it's called a black mamba. See the black lining in its mouth? Black little human. Yeah, that's So today we're milking black mambas. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about why we're milking the snakes. So in Kenya, we lose about a thousand people a year to snake bite and about 400,000 people are permanently disabled every year in Kenya from snake bite. There's a huge problem throughout Sub-Saharan Africa where there's a lack of good quality anti-venoms. So part of the WHO strategy is to reduce snake bite by 50% by 2030. And to start with this, they need good clean venoms to be able to make better anti-venoms which can be used here in Kenya. So that starts off with what we're doing. We're milking the snakes in the hope in the future to be able to sell the venom to people to make anti-venom. The venom is also used in a lot of different research from cancer researches to also medicine which helps your blood clot. There's also toxins from snakes within those medicines. So yeah, that's a little bit about why we're milking. And you can see it going on behind us in our milking lab. You've seen us also doing a few different ways of milking. So one we call a forced milking, holding it behind the head. And the second one is a, a self bite. So getting the snake to bite by itself. This will be able to help us understand how much venom the snakes give on average if it's bitten you once, twice or three times. So that again will help in the treatment of snake bite. That's why they get their name, the black lining inside their mouth. Some of them have them have it more distinct than others, but they all have a little bit of black in there. You can see the two fangs right at the top. So that's a threat display. You can see the small hood as well. And that's what they'll show off to give a warning. You can also see that sort of hollow pipe in the middle there. And that's what it uses for breathing. So when it's got a full chick in its mouth, that can actually come out the side of its mouth so it can carry on breathing. <laughs> 